Hi guys, welcome back to the Shannon Show podcast. This today's episode is going to be a review of episode three of Love Island. So today's episode is basically the fallout after the recoupling yesterday. Obviously, the big deal is Tommy chose Lucy after Lucy and Joe were kind of looking like Endgame. So Joe's obviously pissed, keeping it quite controlled. He hasn't physically... um, At the beginning of the episode, he didn't physically confront Tommy there and then. And Tommy and Lucy, they go on a date and it's, it's all very cute. And he's, you know, talking that sweet talk, telling her that he tickled her heart and all of these things when we all know that he really means Lucy tickled his pain. And yeah, he's just talking that sweet talk. I'm not sure how I feel about Tommy. He is conventionally attractive, but I just feel like all of this sweet talk sounds very fake. Like, I feel like he's such a fake bitch. Like, I feel like he's one of those boys that talk the talk the sweetest talk and then just turn out to be absolute dickheads. The fact that he's, like, a, a boxer and, um, you know, a well-known boxer's brother... I struggle to believe that he's this kind of sweet, clear-cut boy. But let me know what you think. Do you think he's being genuine or do you think he's one of those boys who talk that talk but actually just fuck boys? Amber doesn't think that Lucy's been as innocent as she's been letting on and I kind of see her point because Lucy's kind of been saying that, oh, well, you know, she told Tommy that he, she, was, she wasn't interested in him, that she wanted to be with Joe. And she kind of did, but she was very subtle with it. And with people like Tommy, who are very hard-headed and want to pursue things, if they don't hear an explicit no, they're automatically going to think that they still have a chance to persuade or convince. So I feel like if Lucy really did want to be with Joe, she should have told Tommy straight up, you know, I'm not interested in you. But at the same time... Tommy still could have been like, well, it's only been one day, so I'm going to pick you anyway. But I do think Lucy could have been a bit more explicit. Now, I think Amber was being a bit conniving there, telling that to Joe, kind of like, oh, well, you know, she must have been talking to him, like flirting with him, like letting him think that he had a chance. I think that Amber was coming that way because she was jealous that Tommy picked Lucy and not her, and I feel like she was trying to meddle between I feel like that was a kind of spiteful bitchy thing to do so Joe is obviously still upset he's kind of moping around now and is being very standoffish and kind of isolating himself from the group and you could just tell he's really pissed off because whenever I'm pissed off like I just like you can tell that I'm pissed off like my body language is off I don't really want to talk to anyone people are trying to crack jokes with me I just don't want to laugh I just want to be angry and in that mood so after, I guess, <clears throat> I guess after what Amber said, now he's starting to doubt Lucy. So now he's starting to doubt Lucy and he's expressed this to her. And I feel like he has, like, I'm not sure if he's playing it right. I can understand, obviously, he's frustrated. But at the same time, it is, it's only been one day. So you can't expect Lucy to be devoted to you. I don't know how intense it is in there. Obviously, they're with each other the whole day. They don't have phones or anything. They're literally just stuck with each other the whole day. So I don't know how intense his feelings for Lucy are. But essentially, it's only been one day. Obviously, Lucy still likes him. So I feel like he's going about it the wrong way. I feel like he's playing the guilt card, like make her feel guilty so that she stops flirting with Tommy altogether then rather than being sort of like Tommy coming in like he wants Lucy he wants to convince Lucy that he she should be with him I feel like he should be playing it that way because I feel um yeah it's coming a bit stroppy it's just coming off a bit childish coming off a bit very teenage and babyish and that could actually make Lucy reconsider and be like well fine I'll just be with Tommy then if you're gonna be like that so the next day Lucy's feeling quite guilty and her and Joe have a talk again and she says that she she tells Joe that she wants to be with him. Obviously Joe's very happy about that. He's smiling from ear to ear. And and she basically says that, you know, she went out with Tommy because he's a nice guy and, you know, she didn't 
she didn't want to, she doesn't want to tell him that she wants to be with Joe because she doesn't want to hurt his feelings kind of thing, which is understandable. But um, Tommy overhears this and basically takes the hint and basically says, okay, cool, you know, if you and Joe are legit, then I'm just going to leave you to it. Obviously, after that, he decides he's going to go try it with Amber again. And again, like I was, what I was saying before, Tommy just chats loads of shit. Like, he's one of those people that talk the talk and they just end up being a fucking fuckboy. He goes up to Amber and he's like, oh, yeah, it's 50-50. Literally after, like, the, the morning, in the morning, he was saying he was 100% Team Lucy. He In the space of, like, two hours, he's decided he's now a 50-50 between Lucy and Amber. He's talking that talk, but Amber ain't no... Which good Amber isn't no punk bitch like she knows he's chatting crud and she isn't and she isn't here for it. But I I think Amber would would pick him in a recoupling simply because there isn't anyone else that I think she would want to pick. I don't think she'd pick Anton, I don't think she'd pick Callum again, and I don't think she'd pick Michael. So I think perhaps there's still potential for Amber and Tommy to be a thing but I feel like even if they were to couple up Tommy would still Tommy would just go with somebody else if you know another Lucy came into the house he'd he'd drop Amber and go for her so after that after after Lucy decides that she now wants to be with Joe Amy and Joe kind of have separate conversations with her, telling her, you know, she should be open and that she keep, shouldn't keep her eggs in one basket. And, you know, it's only been three days and she shouldn't feel like she should have to commit to Joe. Um, I don't know, because I, I feel like she doesn't... I've, I feel like she doesn't like Tommy the same way that she likes Joe. I feel like she's being genuine. I feel like she's being genuine in that sense and perhaps... It's Amy and Joe projecting because they like Tommy more than Joe. And that's why they want her to keep her options open because they want to see Lucy and Tommy together. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think do you think Lucy generally solely likes Joe? Like she's only into Joe? Or do you think that perhaps Joe's being a bit controlling and manipulative and that's why Lucy's picking him? Because I did see a tweet for all for anyone who watches you. It's it's on Netflix. Um, I am getting a bit of a Joe from you vibe from Joe from Love Island. And they actually do look quite similar. They have a similar haircut. Which is quite strange. But yeah, let me know what you think. So Sharif isn't sure if Anna is really into him. And obviously they had a little kiss um, yesterday's episode. I feel like Anna's just keeping him you know, around, you know, she's coupled up with him and it's convenient, like, there's there's no one else, so for her, it's very much kind of like, I'm just making the best of my situation right now until it improves. I feel like Sharif is um, kind of twigging onto that and I, I don't understand why he's so surprised when she was like, yeah, if someone comes, if someone I have a better connection comes with, I'm going to go for him, like, that's a no-brainer. And he seemed very upset about that. So yeah, I yeah, like the boys are just very crazy, very emotional this season. Yeah, so then Tommy decides um he's gonna try Lucy again because Amber basically tells him to do one. Amber's not really feeling him. I'm personally not feeling Tommy either. So he goes back to Lucy and so then it's I guess it's kind of like a love triangle thing again. Lucy kind of says that, yes, she kind of feels like Joe is being a bit, like, overprotective and possessive. So I guess we'll see. At the end of the week, there's going to be an elimination. Somebody is going to be on the chopping block. At first, we thought it was going to be two, but obviously at the end, we see there's a new Islander coming in. Molly, she's blonde, skinny, got the fillers in. I don't know who'd be into her, to be honest. Maybe Michael. I guess we'll see. She might have a really good personality. I'll, I'll make judgments when she actually comes in and we see her personality a bit more. In terms of who I think should go on a date with her, I don't really care. I'm not really invested in the in the boys at this moment. But I think 
So if she comes in and there's a recoupling and the girls are picking, that means that there'll be one boy that will be eliminated. So who I think on the chopping block would be... I think... I don't think Amber would pick... So I guess Lucy would pick between Tommy and Joe. But I think regardless, both of them would be safe. Both of them will be picked by somebody. Callum could potentially be on the chopping block, but then again, Amber could change her mind and save him. Anton, I think he's definitely on the chopping block. He's annoying. Like I said, he can get in the bin. I don't think anyone, even the new girl, would be attracted to him. Michael, again, he's messy. He was messy this episode, and I feel like he was a bit rude too. I can I can feel him being very messy and very rude. So I am perhaps it depends. If Molly has a thing for mixed race guys, maybe he has a chance with her and maybe they'll get it off. So I think on the chopping block it would, it would be between that Michael, Anton and Callum. I think those would be the the main people that would be on the chopping block. But let me know who you think. Who do you think is most most likely is going to go? at the recoupling and let me know what you think of the new girl do you think um it's just you would rather that you would have rathered another islander or your kind of thing where you don't really care or do you think you know she could be a potentially good entertainment and a good islander but yeah that's the end of my podcast i'll see you tomorrow till next time guys bye